So folks, we got ourselves a kayak. Now hopefully, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you're as excited about this as I am. This is my first video ever made in one of these uh, purpose-built fishing kayaks with the pedals, the whole nine yards. And uh, no, unfortunately, it's not actually mine. <laughs> I'm just borrowing this from my good friend Tyler, who's back up in Jersey right now. There's not too much kayak fishing you can do back home, so Tyler was generous enough to lend me his Hobie fishing kayak for the six weeks I've been down here in the Keys. I have taken it out a couple times before, so I do have a slight hang of the controls and everything. It took me way longer than I like to admit to learn actually how to use this thing, but this is honestly a game changer. The plan for today was actually out in this area um, a couple times so far on this trip, just doing some scouting, not doing too much fishing, and uh, not having that much luck when I went fishing. Hopefully today we can turn our luck around because on one of my trips, I actually found this magnificent mangrove island. I mean, it is literally the pinnacle of structure when you're talking about mangrove snapper. This island that we're on our way to right now is just fully encompassed by a deep five, six foot hole and is just loaded with snapper. So last night I went out with my cast net, was able to cast out a bunch of mullet, but actually last time I was at this island, there were actually a bunch of pilchards as well. So I did bring the cast net out here. If we can find some pilchards, have some live pilchards as bait, it should be great. And uh, we're gonna start at this island here. If we don't have too much luck, we'll just paddle around to a bunch of these other mangrove islands, just looking for some deep cuts and whatnot. And uh, should be an exciting day, folks. Got a couple hours here this afternoon to fish. So stay tuned. Let's uh, get over to the spot, catch some fish. Oh yeah, check out all those snappers. Hopefully there's some bigger ones in there too. Loaded, man. Just loaded. Not seeing all those pilchers that were supposed to be here though, so. That's interesting. <laughs> Sheep's head down there. Wow, that's interesting. That is cool. See right there. All those micro snapper, man. Holy God. Look at the little sheep's head. Ha <laughs> ha. Hopefully you can see that. That is dope. Little glass minnows down there. Look at all those fish, man. Wow. All those snappers. Holy. Holy, holy moly. We made it to this completely dead mangrove island and you can see the cut just circling this entire island and it is just loaded with snappers. So let's get our mullet out of the cooler here. Get ready to start catching some of these guys. Don't worry Tyler, your kayak's in good hands. Brought a little cutting board out here. And this is really simple fishing guys. We're gonna take our mullet chop them into small pieces and just start chumming these guys up ever so slowly again just small pieces try to get these guys fired up and uh the point behind doing all this chumming right here because we're going to chum for probably 15 20 minutes or so before we bait a line we really want to get these fish in a feeding mood make them take their guard down because they can see me clear as day right now and they're not going to Especially the big ones are not going to eat a cup bait off a hook without a little uh, persuasion. So we'll do this for a couple more minutes, then we'll uh, throw one on a hook.
All right, so we definitely got the attention of a couple little mangs down there. So we're gonna keep on chunking. It's been about 20 minutes, but we're gonna throw one down there with a hook in it. I haven't seen any of those big ones that I saw a couple days ago. I mean, there were some absolute monster mangroves, but they should be lurking somewhere down there. And hopefully there's some keepers as well. Let's get them fired up again real quick. There we go. Yeah, there's some bigger ones down there now for sure. All right, we're going to throw that out here on our medium light setup. Shimano Bait Runner 4000. Tsunami Carbon Shield 7.6. And we just got some 20 pound fluorocarbon to a 1 0 hook. So let's hide that circle hook real nice in there. Make sure these snappers can't see because the water's clear and these guys are actually pretty smart. This one I want to cast back just a little bit farther away from the rest of the chunks. We'll see if that guy gets bit. Meanwhile, we'll keep on chunking keep the life going. Oh, we're hooked up, hooked up around this tree here. Something big. Oh, that ain't a snapper. Oh, shoot. Come on out, come on out, come on out. Come on. Oh, yeah. Out of there, out of there. Oh, Goliath. It's a little Goliath. Oh, we got him, we got him. We got him, baby. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Check that guy out. <laughs> That's why we weren't getting bit. That's why we weren't getting bit right there. This guy already ate our chunk. I thought I saw something down there a little different. Man, barely hooked him, too. Whoa, buddy. That is cool. That's a first ever landing for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Little juvenile Goliath there. That's pretty sweet. On oh, the mullet chunk. Gnarly, man. That is cool. All right, bud, I wish you were a snapper, but that's a cool catch. All right, see you, dude. Woo. There he goes, right back down to the depths. Sweet, so that's our first catch here at this spot, but honestly, I'm not impressed with the snapper bite. I'm gonna throw out one more chunk here. If we don't catch a keeper snapper, we're gonna move spots, but hey, that's sweet. First catch of the day on a mullet chunk. I was wondering why I wasn't getting bit for so long. I literally was ready to leave, reeled it in, and uh, Goliath on a little size one hook. Not bad. Thought we had a couple. So the plain pilcher couldn't get the job done here. Gonna chop this guy up into small, small pieces here. We only have a couple, so we gotta make them go a long way. All right, and that's our bait right there. Little tiny pilchard head. Just gonna drop it back on our chum slick a little bit. Let that guy sit here. Oh yeah, track more fish with our chum. There he is. There's a fish. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. Boom. 
that'll keep right there, folks. First keeper mang of the day. <laughs> Beauty, baby. That's the power of chum. There we go. First snapper. There we go, buddy. Well, this is our next spot here, and honestly, it looks way better than the last spot we just fished. Well, all right, folks, it looks like the snapper didn't really want to cooperate today. I was hoping on limiting out a mangrove snapper and making a blackened snapper sandwich for dinner, but it looks like we're going to be swinging through the Wendy's drive through instead. <laughs> on the bright side, though, I'm happy we're able to make this video. Um, I landed my first ever goliath rupert today now it was completely unexpected i did not expect to come out here today and catch a goliath and it wasn't one and it wasn't one of those giant ones you see all over the internet but it is a first for me and i'm excited to make that happen i have hooked a couple before in the past but i've never been able to actually land them so that was an exciting first for me and it's also my first time ever fishing and making a video in a fishing kayak here so I'm gonna set this as a benchmark for all future kayak videos on this channel. Nothing slower than this. I promise we've got a beautiful week ahead, some exciting videos planned, so never on the stem, folks. I'll see you in the next one.